system operation. Overview of the scaling menu screen. This is the scaling screen of the Cavatron Touch that will allow for adjustment of the operation. Please note that the touchscreen controls will either require a tap of the icon or a tap and hold for a full two seconds. The center of the screen contains the power level control. The number displayed in the bubble indicates the percentage of maximum power, ranging from 5 to 100 and increasing or decreasing in increments of 5 when it is held and slid up or down. The power level can also be selected by touching the scale either above or below the bubble. The rinse icon is tapped to allow use of the handpiece for lavage only without cavitation of the insert tip. The purge icon is tapped to access the feature which activates continuous water flow through the handpiece for 120 seconds the suggested time to purge the water lines at the beginning of the day. The right side of the screen contains three preset power settings that come factory set to 20, 40, and 60. However, these can be reset to any level desired. The settings icon accesses the menu allowing for syncing of the foot pedal to the unit brightness setting and the tap on foot pedal control setting. To access the settings menu, press and hold the icon for two seconds. The lock icon is pressed and held for two seconds to lock the screen, disabling adjustment of any parameter until the icon is pressed and held for two seconds. The upper right corner displays the battery level of the foot pedal. All of these features are detailed in the directions for use and additional videos. Use of the Sterimate 360. The exclusive Sterimate 360 swivel handpiece allows the clinician to fully rotate and insert and also allows adjustable hand positioning with free-flowing movement, providing ergonomic benefits. The Sterimate 360 provides the clinician with access within the entire oral cavity. To rotate the ultrasonic insert, place fingers on the nose of the handpiece and rotate to your desired position. Use of the ultrasonic power level control. To control the ultrasonic power level, simply slide to select your desired power level. Sliding up increases the distance the insert tip moves, while sliding down decreases the distance. A power level may also be selected by pressing the desired position on the power scale. The power range indicator fluctuates from 5% to 100%. Please note, that there is not a visible blue zone. 5% to 35% is considered the blue zone range. Use of memory presets. The user can adjust the power level for increased power. Three power preset options are available. The factory setting for the presets are 20, 40, and 60. Please adjust the power level to your desired output and press and hold the preset button until the sound indicator is heard to select the desired preset. Use of rinse feature. Users will operate this feature during an ultrasonic scaling procedure when lavage is desired with no cavitation. To use, Press and hold the foot pedal for rinse mode cycle. To exit rinse mode, press the scale button to return to the main screen. Use of purge feature. 
This setting is used to flush the water lines at the beginning of the day or between patients. Purge will run automatically for two minutes and adjustments can be made for maximum water flow with a countdown in seconds shown on the screen. Push the scale button to return to the main screen or simply tap the foot pedal. After a two minute countdown, it will then return to the main screen. Use of Boost Feature The Boost feature provides a temporary increase in ultrasonic scaling power for quick removal of tenacious calculus without actually touching the unit. Boost is activated by fully depressing the tap-on foot pedal to the second position. When Boost is activated, the Boost icon will illuminate on the power level bubble. Boost will remain on as long as the clinician has the foot pedal pressed all the way down. In order to deactivate Boost, release the tap-on foot pedal to the first position. Tap-on foot pedal synchronization. The tap-on wireless rechargeable foot pedal supplied with your system has been factory synchronized with the base unit. Should a replacement foot pedal be necessary, synchronization will be required prior to system operation. Users should maintain a distance of no more than 10 feet between the base unit and tap-on foot pedal during the synchronization process. To synchronize the foot pedal, begin by turning on the main power switch located at the rear of the system to the on position. The main screen will appear. This is also referred to as the scale screen. Please remove any inserts from the handpiece. Next, press and hold the settings icon until the settings screen appears. Press the sync icon on the settings screen followed by pressing the red sync button on the bottom of the foot pedal and hold for at least three seconds. Synchronizing is complete once the sync icon has stopped rotating and sound indication occurs. In order to verify that there is proper communication, press the scale icon to return to the main screen. Press the foot pedal to the second position and ensure the boost is activated. Recharging the tap-on foot pedal. With the unit powered on, plug the auxiliary foot pedal cable into the foot pedal and the USB port on the front of the unit. The foot pedal is packaged with the power off. The foot pedal must be turned on prior to use. The foot pedal will not charge in the off state. To turn on the foot pedal, Press and hold the power button for 4 seconds. Allow the foot pedal to charge up to 4 hours to achieve a full battery charge, which will be visible by the battery charging icon that appears on the screen. The unit will operate with the foot pedal while the battery is charging. Tap on wireless rechargeable foot pedal operation. This feature eliminates the need to hold down or pump the foot pedal, adding comfort to your routine. Enter the settings screen to enable or disable tap-on. When parentheses are shown around the tap-on icon, tap-on is activated. If there are no parentheses visible, tap-on is deactivated and the icon will be grayed out. With tap-on activated, tapping on the foot pedal once will activate ultrasonic power for approximately 4 minutes. Tapping the foot pedal a second time will disable ultrasonic power and water flow. On the main scaling screen, a tap-on indicator will appear in the power level bubble while scaling.